All right, today I'm gonna to be going over how to attach and use this, uh, this is an auto fix uh, OBD2 sensor. I'm gonna be plugging into my 2013 Volkswagen Passat. Um, so we take this, it's Bluetooth. So we take this, we go under here and we find our plug, which is this purple guy and we plug it in and a little red light comes on to let you know that it's plugged in then we hop in hop in the car and we're gonna turn it on and down here yep that's still going oh listening to some music so then we're gonna go on to our phone and go to, I downloaded, this is the OBD Mate. Grab that. We open it up, we get this. So it's scanning for the vehicle. And it could take a minute. So, and now it's gonna scan for trouble codes. All right, and looks like I have some readiness codes well, we'll check that out so then if you have like a check engine on the dash you can hit diagnostic and it will do this no faults no codes so we're good there if there was a code what we would do is we would turn the key into the second position but not all the way off and we would hit clear code and then Turn the car back on just like that and that's how you use uh connect and use a uh, obd2 scanner uh this one i will put a link in the description this one's worked great i will say that in a lot of vehicles there's actually two systems that you can read the obd2 gives you kind of all the basic stuff and then there's like a more complicated scanner that can do more diagnostic and more for the mechanic side of things. So this will only give you kind of one side of the story. If it's something major, you have gotta go to a mechanic. But I've been able to fix uh, stuff like mass airflow sensors, um, like uh, camshaft position sensor, that's one that failed on me. Um, there are several sensors that are easy to get to. Um, it's a couple bolts and you swap it out and your problem's fixed. So that's how you use uh, the OBD Bluetooth sensor. Uh, yeah, just make sure your Bluetooth is on. Now, one thing about this is if you shut the car on or completely off, you have to exit this app. So take this, exit it completely and go back into it and it'll give you this warning and then you start the car again. That's one thing I found out is every time you shut the car off completely, you have to re-start uh, the app. So that's how you use it. I'll have a link into the description for this one. This reader was 30 bucks and it works great for everything I'm doing. If it's more advanced stuff, I'm gonna obviously go to a mechanic. So thanks for joining us and uh, we'll see you next time.